Odds are, you know Zapier exists to make things simpler. It's why we have a plethora of tools for folks to add to their zaps. And what's easier than pressing a button to trigger a zap? All from your browser. That's what Zapier's Chrome extension does. When you find an article or video you want to share with your network, you can simply click on the extension and click on a zap. All of a sudden, that link is live on Twitter or Facebook. You can add the URL of the web page you're on to a spreadsheet, a Trello card, a Slack channel, or a DM, and you can even create events on your Google Calendar, all from the extension. And not only that, but you can build a Zap without even having to navigate to Zapier. The extension will get you started and take you straight into the editor. Installing our extension is exactly how you install any Chrome extension. Head to the extension page in the Chrome store, install, and most importantly, pin the extension so you have easy access to it. You can trigger specific zaps from within the extension, but we'll get to that in a minute. When the extension is open, there are two sections beneath your account information, actions and suggestions. Actions are quick zaps that you can create in almost no time that uses the Chrome extension as its trigger and Slack or Twitter or Google Calendar as the action. The zap is built and ready to go once you connect your action apps account. And once it's on, just click on the extension again and after a moment, your new zap will appear and you can get it started from there. Suggestions show you different zap ideas based on the apps you use most, but Create Zap is where you can tinker. When you click Create Zap, you'll be brought to the zap editor where you can build out your own extension-based zap. The Chrome extension is already selected as the trigger, so you don't even have to select one. Just follow the steps to test the trigger before you add an action or two. Now you get to think about what you want to be able to trigger from your browser. I use the extension to shorten the URL of the website I'm on, send it to me in a Slack DM, and then add it to a Google Sheets row to keep track of. I find this especially useful when creating short links to use on social media or video descriptions, anywhere you don't want to see a long, ugly URL. Like most of Zapier, the only limit you'll find with this is your imagination. Go through your workday and list out some of the little things the extension might help with, and then go create it. We'll see you in the next lesson. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned something too. If you did, go ahead and like the video and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this.